Welcome to Morning Talk with Lenora. Morning Talk. Morning Talk with Lenora. Hi, good morning. Welcome to the Morning Talk with Lenora. Oh, my head's cut off. Okay, that's better, right? Good morning. Welcome to the Morning Talk with Lenora. I feel better, y'all. I, um... I stayed in bed all weekend. I mean, I know that's hard for you to leave, but, you know, when you're fighting, <laughs> you do whatever it takes. So, I'm not 100%, but I'm better. So, I'm, um, I'm filming. <laughs> so, I'm not filming from my bed today. Well, while I was in bed, y'all, I uh, pulled out my audiobook because, you know, I, I find it very hard just to just lay around do nothing. You know, uh, yeah, I'm in bed, but it doesn't mean that I can't listen. I mean, I watch TV in bed. So, I mean, even you can learn stuff while you're laying down. So, I pulled out my audiobook and I listened to Charlemagne the God's book. I don't know if y'all heard it or read it. It's a black privilege. Opportunity comes to those who create it. I don't, I don't know him from his, you know, his knowledge of rap. And um, I don't think I've watched The Breakfast Club more than a whole show. I know of it. Um, but in reading the book, I know him as an author. And in, in the audio book, he's actually narrating it himself. I loved it. And you know, it was so, it's so, uh, his information is so great. I mean, he, while laying in the bed, he uh, made me optimistic. He made me wanna, um, he, he, I felt empowered. I wanted to jump out of the bed and start working on my show. Um, I mean, he, I mean, yeah, he says some stuff, you know, <laughs> he's very honest and very blunt, but you know what, as an adult, it ain't nothing you never heard before, okay, so, I mean, he does, I mean, he, he, he does talk about almost everything, so, I mean, but, I mean, don't let that other stuff fool you. He's actually giving some very good information. He's dropping a lot of knowledge. Okay, Cam, you need to stop this. Yeah, I don't know why you upset with me and you burn, but it's really, it's really messing with me right this camera. So anyway, um, it is, I, it's a great book. It really is. It's a, it's, 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 a, it's something you should read. And then, and read his book, I found out that he and I, our mom, had the same name. Julianne. That's my mother's name too. And the other thing that I that was so surprising to him, he and I had the same birth date. Our birthday is this month. So this is my birthday month, June 29th, and that's Charlemagne's birthday too. I thought that was really cool. Number three, he is from South Carolina and so am I. He lived, he is from Monk's Corner. I am from West City Ashley. But I used to work in Monk's Corner um, when I was a nurse. I worked at a, there was a nursing home there and I worked there for a while. And, but you know, and then I lived in Goose Creek when I worked at the, at the nursing home. So, which is right outside of Monk's Corner. So, um, I've never personally met him. I know of him, but I was very impressed with this book. And uh, I was very impressed with, uh, you know, him sharing his rise to fame and knowing that he is a homeboy, which was even better. So I'm recommending that you all read his book. I mean, especially if you're if you're like, uh, I mean, laying in bed not feeling well. I it, it really it helped. It didn't help medically, but it helped mentally, and it helped kind of define some of the things that I think about and why I do this and what my expectations are of it. So, um, I'm going to come back to you later with some more information. So, I'll see you in a minute. Hi, I'm back. Uh, okay, camera's back with me. 
I, uh, this June is my Stenio Wears Month. I have on my My Stenio t-shirt. I actually made this for my support group. Um, my South Carolina and my Stenio Gravis support group. And, uh, you know, I do little t-shirts, little designs. So I did this, and um, I have it on today because of my Stenio Month. And I also, I, um, I wanted to share, while I was sick, um, I was taking antibiotics. Now, um, for those of us who have myasthenia or know people who have myasthenia or have studied myasthenia, you know that we really have a problem with a list of medications. Antibiotics is one of them, anesthesia, um, you know, the wrong medicine in our eyes. You know, there's certain medis uh, antibiotic groups that are really, are where you really to um, be cautious in using because they impair our neuromuscular junction and um, theref thereby increasing our respiratory. And <clears throat> I was on um, like one version of it. I used to take this, it's a, it's a penicillin, and I used to I used to be able to take it and it will take care of my infection. But I guess over the period of time, um, I, I don't know if I became immune to it, but my body could handle it. Instead of making me feel better, it made me feel worse. So I remember as when I'm going to the doctor, like especially doctors who are not familiar with my studio, they will order antibiotics and they are not looking at the list because you know, they're doctors. Why would they look at the list? But I don't mean that. <laughs> just, I just had the experience. Anyway, um, I've I've had like they'll say they'll look at the list and they say, um, yeah, these will happen in certain cases. So they always assume that um, because they're not saying some of the drugs say don't use and some of them say you can use, that the ones that you can use is all right for everybody, and it's not the case because. My esteemed people are called snowflakes because we're all different. So, um, I've been taking this um, ampicillin and I have a problem, but now I have a problem with it. So now, I have to add it to my personal list of antibiotics that I can't tolerate. So that's, a, you know, that's called being your own advocate. Well, some of the other um, antibiotics are aminoglycosides. And they are like tobamycin and gentamycin. Um, <clears throat> fluoroquinolones, which are ciprofloxacin and norfloxacin. Uh, penicillins, that, that, they're considered safe. That's why my doctor ordered them. Um, though, through antidotes, ampicillin causing respiratory depression. Like I said, I, could, I used to could take it. I took a, a derivative of it. But this weekend... I didn't take it yesterday, and I feel good. So I realized that I can no longer tolerate it because I pay attention to my body. Now I will be in contact with my doctor. So I'm not an expert on this. I'm not giving her any advice. Call, talk to your doctor. But I will be discussing my effects of taking the medicine. I was halfway in it, and it had me nailed to the bed. So when that happens to me where, you know, I'm already fighting for energy as it, as it is, if I'm taking something that's robbing what I have, you got to go. And um, there are microglycosides, which are uh, um, AZT, um, quinolones, and retinavirus, which I've never heard of. Um, those are a few of the drugs that um, really cause the impaired neuromuscular junction transmission and may increase weakness. So that's my information for Myasthenia um, Awareness Month. I will be back with some more information. Um, there's also another appreciation for this month, and I'll be back to tell you all about it. Hey, everybody, I'm back. Um, as I said, um, June is also, I didn't tell you, right? June is also um, Black Music Appreciation Month. And also, um, I found that out, and I want to shout out my friend, Hugh Gaddy and his uh, Black in Time um, YouTube channel. I follow him on Facebook and I follow him on Instagram and he keeps up with everything. And I'm going to put his link in my, um, in the bottom there. 
so you can uh, check him out. I mean, he he's really in, very informative about everything. But because it's Black Mu Black Music Appreciation Month, I wanted to also I want to take do a, a double thing. This is also the month that Michael Jackson died, and um, and it's really bad the way I remember it because it's on my brother's birthday. So that's how I remember it. I remember it that way. I didn't want to ruin a happy thing with a sad thing. But that's how I remember it. So I thought I would share with you. I have a Michael Jackson album. I mean, as a memento. And this one is Thriller. It's the one that was um, produced by Quincy Jones. And it has some good music on it. Um, I want to be starting something, Baby Be Mine, The Girl Is Mine with Paul McCartney. Remember that? Thriller with the fantastic video. Um, be It, Billie Jean, which has also another great video. Human Nature, Pretty Young Thing, or PYT, and The Lady In My Life. That's all on the Thriller album. So this is uh, to uh, remember Michael Jackson on this Black Minute, Black Black Music Appreciation Month. I also, you know, I'm just, I don't know, I'm just me. Uh, I also have this. This is Ebony. Um, it's Michael, our icon. And it is from 2009. And it has, uh, of course, it has pictures of Michael Jackson and, and, and everything. But this is one of my, uh, you know, he... I mean, I listened to him since I was I was young. I mean, there are a lot of people who didn't discover him until he was old. I mean, because he was in his forties, <coughs> didn't discover him until he got older. But I used to listen to him when he was a little boy. Um, you know, I remember got to be there and um, when he was with his brothers, and uh, so he was a major part of my life as an adult, as far as entertainment. So I watched him grow. So of course, you know, um, he's special in my life. So. I would like to memorialize Michael Jackson on this Black History Month. I know there's more to the month, but I don't know what else I'm going to do. So, you know, I don't want to waste, I don't like to waste good things. I'm like, you know, let's do it now. So, I just wanted to tell you about Black History Month. So, I'll be back with a little more in just a few moments. Bye. Hey, everybody, I'm back. You know, um, I'm a person that likes fashion. I mean... Everybody can define how they identify with fashion. You know, I just, I mean, one of the things I like to do for myself is I like to look the best I, look, I, I can do for myself. So, you know, I shop, you know, I shop. You know, my birthday's coming up, so I have to treat myself. So anyway, um, and I have this web page, I have this Facebook page that kind of um, just, um, I just kind of put random things on it, like about jewelry and fashion. Well, I just put something on it about Rihanna. And it says, Rihanna's launching 40 foundation shades and Twitter can't handle it. Um, per a Pop Sugar article by Christina R-O-D-U-L-F-O. And actually, the article was written September 9, 2017. Well, the only reason I'm bringing that now because you know, I get over a thousand uh, likes on that uh, that article on my Facebook page. So I'm like, if this, so I I had to look at it close myself, and that's how I found out how old it was, um, and who wrote it. But um, according to, I mean, I went to find out what it was because I already knew she had a line. So anyway, I found out that the news come, the actual news comes from a fan a social media account that direct messaged Rihanna. And um, after asking if she's really going to have 40 foundations, shades, um, the singer allegedly, allegedly confirmed, you know it, got to represent for my girls and we come in all shades, especially my brown sisters. Been left out too many times in the, in the makeup world. So I'm like, I like Rihanna. I do. I just, I just, I just, I like her. I like her. 
because of the woman that she is, you know, you know, the female traits of her, you know, she acts like a girl, she dresses like a girl, I mean, basic stuff, I like her, um, I have my own choice of music, I don't say I don't like her music, but I have my own choice of music, but that's the part I like about Rihanna, I like her, you know, she's, um, I look at her when they post her dressed up or whatever, so, you know, okay, I'm not superficial with that, but that's what I like about her. My daughter likes her too, too. So, um, that's my fashion thing for today. I mean, I was just kind of blown away by that because I'm like, why is everybody liking this one post? So, I figured it out that it was about, but I already knew. My, I even went to Sephora with my daughter when the line came out and she bought some stuff. I'm like, she, that's too, I mean, I don't wear make. I mean, I got a lipstick and that's it. So, and it's not from an expensive brand either. <laughs> so, um, but I congratulate Rihanna on taking that bold step. And, you know, because, you know, I look at some of my brown sisters and those girls are laying that makeup out. So, it's great to see. And great to see that, you know, there's variety and options available. So, I'm going to close my little show in just a moment. So, I'll be back. Hey everybody, I'm back. Um, I thought um, I wanted to share something with you all. When I was in the hospital, when I first uh, was diagnosed and I had to go undergo uh, surgery to have my thymus removed, which had a tumor at the time. But you know, it was an extensive stay in the hospital. It was my first few days dealing with my insomnia. Um, a friend of mine um, brought me this really great basket was filled with all kinds of things. Um, I mean, I guess she really thought it through. But one of the things was this book. And um, the name of the book is Hope for Every Moment. And it has 365 inspirational um, thoughts of every day for the year by T.D. Jakes. Well, I numbered the day, I put dates on the days in the book when I got it because I would use that particular page to kind of help me through the day. Well, going back to it, I wrote, and the book it says day 55, but in my life it was June 5th, I mean June 4th. It was day 54, it was June 4th, and today is June 4th. And the inspirational quote on this day was, as one whom his mother com comforted, comforted, comforted us do it in our English <coughs> so will I comfort you and you shall be comforted in Jerusalem so to me that means that God will always be here with us and he will always be with you even when you're dealing with trials and tribulations and for me after going through so much trauma in relation to my health and uh, other things and knowing that I still came through them I know that to be true I know that he comforts you and he's with you so I want to end my show with reminding you that God is with you and um, even though when it's very dark and dreary you have to always with every situation try to find the best thing out of that situation because you know you, gotta ha you have to find some hope to get you through it and some faith. So I'm wishing you hope, I'm wishing you faith, and I'm wishing you a good morning. This is Lenora Singh. Thank you so much for hanging out with me, and you all have an awesome day. Uh, toodles, baby.